Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Akira, and I have a demonstrator with me today. Nathan People, one of my best friends. We're gonna demonstrate for you uh, for this tutorial on how to do a back tuck. We're gonna go over the pitfalls of what not to do and some tips on what you can focus on to help you, you know, achieve this goal and arrive to it safely and accomplishing in that. So, first thing I'm gonna do, a back tuck. A back tuck is really just a jump with a spin. Um, and breaking that down, we're gonna, I'm gonna, Nate's gonna show you how we're gonna piece all that together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is a four roll. And go. Good job. All right, so let me break that down. Four roll is really simple, yeah. Everyone can do a four roll. However, what I want you to notice is when Nate does this four roll, can you do that one more time? Notice he's not diving into it. Everyone can do a four roll, fine. However, the main thing to focus on when you're doing this four roll is how, notice when he grabs his knees and activates that spin. Go ahead. Notice when he does that four roll, and as soon as he grabs his knees, a sort of whoosh thing happens, and then he spins. That's gonna be sort of like the secret, like the recipe for making sure that when you do your back tuck, you hit that spin, and you're able to land it safely on your feet. All right, can you demonstrate a bad one? <laughs> All right. Typically when people do a four roll, or, or a, a back tuck in general, the reason why they stall out is because they don't know how to spin. It can be attributed to this position. Notice, <laughs> notice when he does that, Nothing happens. Yes, he grabbed his knees. Yes, he did a rolling motion. He started going to the turn, but that's the thing. He's turning, he's not spinning. So semantics, you know, it's like, there's a difference. There's a big difference to do. The difference is whether you're gonna land on your feet or you're gonna land on your face. So, you can demonstrate that one more time, Nate, please. When you do this forward roll, hands on the ground. Watch, again, notice how he grab, when he grabs his knees, he activates that spin. Ready, go. Boom, just like that. Great job, all right. On to the next drill. So for this next drill, this is the set jump. When you do a set jump, this is gonna determine um, how you get up in the air. You wanna think of it like uh, the quicker you get up in the air, the easier this back tuck's gonna be for you. So Nate's gonna demonstrate how to do a set jump. Ready? All right, it really does help if you have an eight foot vertical leap <laughs> like Nate here. All right, however, Something that you want to watch out for, this, this is something that uh, is a, a common mistake when everyone thinks of a set jump. You don't want to jump and think of arching your back, because as soon as you jump and you arch your back, that's this position here, it kills your jump. It kills your, your set so that when you're jumping up, your hips actually go forward, hips go behind you, and you actually undercut into the ground. That's exactly what you don't want to do. So Nate, can you demonstrate that jump? So you don't want to do this. Yes. You don't want to be that guy. All right, so next up, ready? Can you demonstrate one more time how to do it straight, uh, straight up? Notice when he jumps up, his body is completely straight. Good. There you go. Can you do that really good? Like that? You're gonna be doing standing fulls. This guy can do that too. All right, on to the next drill. When you do a back tuck, the thing to focus on when you're doing a back tuck is when you're riding it straight up, you wanna make sure that you don't arch your back. That's gonna make it harder for you to grab your knees and pull. And Nate's gonna demonstrate for you right here in this drill. Um, this one actually doesn't have a name, so I challenge you to name this drill right here. Come up with something cool, and we'll use it for the, the rest of our tutorials. But for the sake of this drill, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your arms up in the air. When you go to grab your knees, ready, grab your knees. You gotta notice that when you do this, it's natural for you, it's easier for your body to grab your knee and get into the pulling position for your tuck. Now, typically when people do their back, hand, uh, their back tuck, what they'll typically do is when they, when they jump up, and when they set, they'll throw in this big, huge arch thinking it's gonna help them flip faster. Well, this is what happens. Try to grab your knee. It's a lot slower, it's a lot harder, it's more complicated, and you just end up on your face anyways. So don't do that. Ready, can you do that one with your arms straight up and just grab your knee? So, ready, grab. It's a lot natural, a lot easier, safer, and that's how you're supposed to do it anyways. So, that's why coaches always tell you, don't throw your head back, don't arch. Don't do that, <laughs> okay. So, all right, on to the next drill. On this next drill, this is gonna basically teach you how to roll your hips into the flip. When I say roll your hips, that's what activates your body to spin and, you, and use that, that full roll technique, how we spin. That's what's gonna activate your body to spin and stay in the air and do your back tuck successfully. Now, uh, this drill right here, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hold your arms up in the air, grab your knee, and when you pull, you're gonna focus on keeping your chest up. You're gonna pull, 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 and fall back. Can you do that one more time? What you wanna notice is when he does this, um, do it a little bit slower. When he does it, as he pulls his knee, 
what happens is his hip naturally goes forward. If your hip goes in front of you and, and you're in the air, your body's gonna go wherever your hips tell you where to go. So in other words, if your hips go forward, you're gonna roll backwards. It's, 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 it's the easiest thing ever. As, as long as you train your body to think, okay, once that happens, then you're gonna go. So a pitfall of what to watch out for, when people typically do their back tucks, when they, when they stall out, when they don't make it, can you demonstrate that one? What happens is they pull and they, touch, they tuck forward. Notice that's exactly what happens. So imagine if he's setting up and he's going to grab his knees for a tuck, nothing's gonna happen. So can you uh, demonstrate the one where we pull and go backwards? So you have to give your set and pull. Yep. This next drill is the landing part. A lot of times, you know, yes, people will, will successfully jump up, hit their tuck and flip around. There's also a part where you gotta land it on your feet because that's what makes it count as a back tuck. So, um, the next drill is called, it's just a regular stick drill. Start off with yourself up on a mat. You're gonna jump up, land on the floor, bend your knees to absorb the landing. Ready, go. That's a stick. I'll give you a 10. All right, so can you do that one more time? The thing you wanna focus on when you're doing this, you wanna think of landing on your toes, bending your knees, and absorbing the fall. Ready, go. Yeah, good. All right, now we're gonna piece that together with this back tuck. You ready? So here we go. He's gonna do the set, spin, and land. Go ahead, back up. Hey, like a ninja. That was good. Can you do it again? All right, watch this. This is amazing. I, I love this. This is good. You can do that all the time. Can you do it one more time? how you do a back tuck. It makes it look so easy. He's awesome. All right, so there you go. That's the back tuck. And thank you for tuning in. Big shout out, thank you to Harbor City Gymnastics allowing me to film these tutorials and sharing this experience with you. Be sure to check us out. Our tumbling classes are on Sundays from six to eight. And you can come and check out our facility. We have everything from resi pits, foam pits, cheesy pits, all kinds of pits. And we have also different spotting harnesses to help you out and assist you with any fears that you may have, we will help you overcome them. And you can um, come here and learn pretty much any tumbling skill that you desire, and we can help you achieve that um, safely and easily.